Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. This video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. It's part of the deal that I've done with them, if you don't know, I have agreed to sell my first lot of merch. The links for that are down in the description below. Please feel free to go check it out after watching this video. Um, first thing we're going to do this week, I know it's uh, early in the Premier League season, just actually coming up to week 7, but this is the roundabout of time where teams start to fall into their brackets for say, you know, you've got the top 2, Liverpool City, and you've got the top 4, but I think this table's so interesting this year, especially how it's shaped up at this early stage. So the first thing we're going to do is look at that. Um, Liverpool on first. Five points clear of City. Um, Man City second. I think Leicester are doing very well at this part of the season. Up in third place ahead of Arsenal by goal difference. Then the top four gets completed by Arsenal. Very fortunate to get the three points at home this weekend to Villa. And I'll get on to that when I get down to their game for this weekend. And I'll talk about their result a little bit more. West Ham, great result against United. Um, you know, United do not turn up. United do look in serious trouble unless they start picking up points away from home. Um, Bournemouth had a great result against Southampton. Tottenham had a poor result. Um, two two odd defeat to Leicester. United in eighth, and Burnley and Sheffield United complete the top ten. Sheffield United are in the top ten. Good season on Sheffield United and also Burnley. Um, go down to the bottom three. Watford down in the bottom half. Uh, sorry, down the bottom. Wolverhampton in the bo uh, second from bottom. Villa third from bottom. Villa were very unlucky not to escape the bottom three to put Newcastle in there. But this is how tight it is. Two points separate. Villa in 18th down to Brighton in 15th. Um, I know... As I said, it's early. Still a lot more for me to do. Still a lot more predictions to be made. Still a lot more twists and turns in this season. But guys, anyway, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So the first goal I'll kick off with is Sheffield United versus Liverpool. Sheffield United um, beating Everton 2-0 away from home. Very good performance by Sheffield United. I personally did think. Um, you know, Everton really do look like they're struggling at recent times. Um, Liverpool, two on winners um, over Chelsea at Chelsea. Wherever Chelsea going to end up this season, that's one question I really do want to know. Um, purely because the transfer ban, Frank Lampard, uh, you know, where do you go with Chelsea? Um, I know, obviously, about as I said, I know about our transfer ban, but that gives them no excuses. Um, if you're a Chelsea fan, do you think Frank Lampard's the man for the job? Please feel free to comment down below. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a four. I oh, know, sorry, I'll go for ah, I changed my mind. Um, <laughs> I'll go for a three nil Liverpool win. My next one is Aston Villa versus Burnley. Aston Villa loses 3 2 at Arsenal. Burnley beating Norwich 2 0 at home. Villa, as I said when we go through the Premier League table, were very unlucky not to get a point or three points against Arsenal. And I'm trying to work out where it went wrong for Villa, really. And but it did obviously, and they go away with no points, which it leaves them on four points. Um, Burnley, on the other hand, great day um, at home against Norwich. Um, no goals for Norwich, uh, star striker this week. 
Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to call it a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Bournemouth versus West Ham. West Ham beating United 2 0 at home. Bournemouth beating Southampton away 3 1 away from home. First ever win for Bournemouth at St Mary's. Um, I remember watching that game Friday night football. Um, great three points. Uh, I want to know what the Southampton keeper was doing with uh, Bournemouth's, third keep, uh, Bournemouth's third goal. Um, you know, that, that third goal could have possibly been stopped if the goalkeeper looked. Um, West Ham, on the other hand, great that home. Absolutely put Man United to shame. Um, my main concern is for United, I don't, I think it's the attacking force. I think letting Lukaku go out, uh, Sanchez, you know, Apparently Greenwood was unwell. Um, Paul Popper's injured. They got all these injuries, and they've let so many players out. I think they've let themselves short. And Marcus Rashford does could possibly be out for this weekend. Um, but I'll speak about more about United when I get down to their game. Bournemouth, as I said, great great three points up at South uh, at Southampton. They can't go up, so they're literally across. Um, Great three points for West Ham, but as far as this one goes, I'm going to go for a 2-1 West Ham win. My next one is Chelsea versus Brighton. Brighton, nil-nil up at Newcastle. Chelsea losing to Liverpool 2-1 at home. Um, let's go speak about our Brighton result just on the verge of... They should, Brighton should have won that game. Yet again, I'll watch the game. Um, but they didn't. I think me looking back at it, the first half all Brighton. Second half, Brighton were probably just lucky enough to hold on with the point. Um, you're looking over the ninety minutes. Brighton were probably the unfortunate ones not to come away with the three points, but you know they got a point, so I'll be happy with that. Uh, Newcastle, as I say, I'll speak about that when I get down to their fixture. But Chelsea, when are Chelsea going to pick up their first home win? I think Chelsea's main problem is no disrespect to Frank Lampard, Dane brought a manager, um, his, his spirits from manager in. Um, don't forget, he's got all this transfer ban, he can't bring these players in, he can't do that, he can't do this. Fair enough, Frank Lampard having the Chelsea job. If they didn't have this transfer ban. Um, but as far as this one goes. I'm going to give it to the blue side on the south coast. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brighton win. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Norwich. Crystal Palace won all at home to Wolves. Speak about that in a minute. Norwich lost 2-0 at Burnley. Uh, uh, let's start with um, let's go start with that Norwich because Norwich have been on form. Uh, let's not forget a star striker. Um, no goals for the star striker this weekend. I think for the first time in this season, Norwich were poor. Um, but still a long way to go for Norwich, and at the minute they're outside the relegation zone. Um, But Palace one all really uh, against not one not one a game yet Wolves. Last minute goal for Wolves. Uh, yeah, put it this way: the Palace defender didn't look too clever after Wolves pulling the back in the net. Fair play to Wolves for not giving up. Um, but still ain't won a game. Uh, Palace, as I've said, drew one all with Wolves. Um, struggling for goals. But as far as this one goes, I'm going to give it to Norwich. And I'm going to go for a 3-0 Norwich win. 
My next one is Tottenham Hotspur versus Southampton. Tottenham losing 2-1 to Leicester. I'll talk about that in a minute because there are a few VAR um, things in that game. And Southampton lost 3-1 at home to Bournemouth. Hard day for both of these clubs. Um, you know, Southampton tried to fight it back to get it back to 2-all. But as I said, that muck up at the... 90th, but now I think it was, um, gave Bournemouth the 3 1 lead and they took the three points home. Tottenham, now, yeah, as I've said, that they had a VAR decision in this. If you're a regular few of mine, you will know my opinion about VAR. I ain't gonna bog down with my opinion of it. I've seen why it was offside. As is stated in the law, at the start of the season, offside's offside. Uh, no matter whether the attacker should have got the benefit of it out, um, offside is offside. And they made that quite clear at the start of the season. Uh, however harsh it may be, offside's offside. Um, but I think to even up the VAR, um, you know, it's really working properly. I would fly all the officials, if I was the FA or Premier League, get the money together and fly them out to, you, to the United States of America to watch the MLS to see how they use it. I know a lot of you don't like the MLS, which is obviously your opinion, um, but I do. I think in a, a major league soccer, which is what it's called over there, I never call it football, um, they use it perfectly. I watch game after game after game after game in the MLS when I can. Um, what I think makes it perfect for the MLS, and it can work in the Premier League, this VAR, I know people have a big kick up about it, but it's, it's being used now in every major league. Serie A, Bundesliga, La Liga. You know, the list is endless. Um, but I think we need to fly our officials out to, to the United States of America to see how they use it, to see how we can develop our own game. I personally do think, and I know we're supposed to be the best league in the world, and it still roughly is, not in the uh, techno technologi techno technological fault. Uh, you know, we're not that good on the technology yet. Um, I think the MLS is one step ahead of Premier League. Yet again, that's just my opinion. Um, but, where do I go with this Tottenham versus Southampton game? I'm going to go for the white side of London, Tottenham, Spurs, you know, whatever you call them. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Tottenham win. My next one is the bottom of the table clash. Wolverhampton versus Watford. Wolverhampton point against Palace. Watford, you ready for this? 8 Nil defeat at Manchester City. 8 nil, And I mean, I didn't watch this game. I mean, I was listening to like uh, bits and pieces. By the sounds of it, and what I've heard, obviously, after the game and, like, analysis and that, um, I could have won it about 12 to 13 now. 12 to 13. I mean, that's just mind-boggling to me. Um, I've seen a lot of high-scoring games in like, how long I've been on this earth. Yes. But for one team to get nearly 13 goals, I mean, I think most game, most goals I've seen in a game, I think it's 10. And that was 8-2 to Man United against Arsenal. 
The game before that, I think it was Man United Arsenal again when Man United won 6 1. But 8 0. Um, sorry, Watford fans, I don't mean to put you down. Um, Wolverhampton, great point. Um, up, up uh, yeah, down at Palace because I got to come down the country. Um, but still winless on both teams. So for this one, I'm going to call it a draw and I'm going to go for a nil nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Everton versus Manchester City. <laughs> um, Everton losing 2 0 at home to Sheffield United. Manchester City. 8-0, as I just said, at home to Watford. How many are Manchester City going to get this week? Um, I, I don't think they would do what they did up at against Watford. Obviously, they didn't go up at Watford because one have to come down and two they were on. Um, but I don't think they get eight goals like they did against Watford. But I do think it might be a few. And that's purely because of everything in the previous week. I don't think they were good enough defensively. So for this one, I'm going to go for a 5 0 Manchester City win. My next one is Leicester versus Newcastle. Newcastle 0 0 at home to Brighton. I spoke about that. Leicester 2 1 winners at home to Spurs. Um, great three points for Leicester. Should that hurricane goal stood? You've already heard my opinion on that. I ain't going to uh, go back on to that. Um, but go through points. Leicester, I'll prove... I'm sort of proving that all the money top man out there, it means nothing. I know, I, knew, I know Leicester had a lot of money out there as well. But, you know, look at the two clubs. you got Leicester down in... You've got Leicester up in third, and you've got Tottenham down in seventh. Take that back a year. You have, what, Leicester in tenth, and Tottenham in the top three? Top three, top four? You know, it's a ludicrous amount of money that goes round um, these days. But as far as this one goes, I'm going to go for a Leicester win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Leicester win. My last one for this weekend is the big one. Manchester United versus Arsenal. Arsenal got a lucky victory over Villa. Man United got absolutely put to one side against West Ham. This game is going to be... A absolutely cracker of a game purely because both teams ain't what they were Man United lost 2-0 away to West Ham Arsenal 3-2 winners at home to Villa I ain't going to read too much into that purely because of Villa going 2 0 up yeah I still say Arsenal were lucky to get 3 points yeah I still say West Ham did well against United and deserved the 3 points um, but where do I go with this one? I'm going to call this one a draw and I can't believe I'm going to say this but I've got nothing else to put my opinion on um, except from this result and I'm going to go for a nil nil scoreline for that one but guys anyway you know what to do, give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.